This fragrance is smelly, Mr. Smelly. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can give you my first impressions of Gravitas by Mr. Smelly. Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 3 u 3 b a yeah, I got Gravitas on deck. Mr. Smelly reached out to the kid and he was like, yo, I would love to send you my fragrance for you to check out. Do with it as you wish. No review needed, whatever, whatever. But of course, I'm gonna fuck with it and support the kid because the dude is a real fancy Englishman and they're way smarter than we are. At least me. And to be honest with you, I already had a preconceived notion in my head of what this fragrance would smell like based on some of the videos that I've seen of Mr. Smelly. Most of y'all know that I don't watch many YouTubers. I'm easily influenced and I don't wanna copy everybody's content, although we make a lot of the same content for clicks. That's just the way my brain works. I just don't like to watch too many reviewers. Not lack of support, it's just that's how I am. But one thing that I do know about Mr. Smelly is that he loves his classical style fragrances in that fougere realm. So I already had that notion in my head, yo, this is gonna be some old school gentlemanly shit. Probably a little bit too dated for me, but he was gracious enough to send it and I'm happy to do this first impressions because let me tell you and let's be clear, fuck that he sent it to me. I don't know him personally. We've never had any one-on-one -on -one conversations. We're not buddy-buddy. I know a lot of people may think that content creators in the fragrance space and YouTube be chilling together and like sharing Zoom calls. This shit don't work like that, especially not with me. So I got it on deck, he sent it to me super fast, and honestly, this fucking thing is a very nice fragrance. I wasn't surprised that it was gonna be good, to be honest with you. I knew it was gonna be a solid fragrance, but I didn't expect it to be this good. And it's a very nice, gentlemanly, old school fougere with a little bit of a modern twist. Now, it's not your typical barbershop lavendery bomb, but it has a lot of the characteristics that you would expect from that. Now, for me, this shit smells like a fragrance that I should not be wearing. This is an educated motherfucker who went to Oxford. This is a dude who wears a tweed jacket with some suede elbow pads. This is a motherfucker that wear pleated khakis and some possible penny loafers or some boat shoes. I don't wear any of of them. However, this is some classy ass shit. This is good. It's very good actually. And it has some decent power behind it. I've worn it two times already and it's lasted me a little bit over seven hours on my skin, which phenomenal, right? But the opening of the fragrance, some people may automatically throw it into that old school vibe, but chill until you get to that mid and dry down. That's when it gets a little bit funky and a little bit classy. This is on some smoke room cigar type shit. Sit down. You definitely got a jacket on. You definitely got your collar popped. This is some button shirt status. Maybe even a fucking ascot. It's lavender, slightly oody, still has a brightness, has a nice little bit of a sweet tinge at the base. It's well-rounded and it's actually really, really enjoyable to wear. I, I can't front. If you're a vibey motherfucker who likes that old school fougere type shit or you're just a gentleman this is a gentleman the vibe that came to my head when i smelled what came to my head when I smelled Gravitas. It's just a swaggy motherfucker decked out or just a hipster who's like 25 years old but dresses like a 44 year old acting still like a 25 year old. This is just my first wear slash first impressions of Gravitas again. I'ma make myself abundantly clear, believe it or not, just cause he sent me the bottle doesn't mean he automatically gets a thumbs up. Think about it. If I wanted the click factor, it would be better for me to shit on him and get some fragcom viral than to give him props and everybody's like, yeah, of course you're gonna give him props because he sent you the bottle. Damn, let me suck. That's how fragcom clowns work. It's fine. This shit's good. If you like old school fougere, but it's not in your traditional space, this for me, is a ball spray and I'll be happy to spray my balls on it. I mean, they're nice and shaved right now, but they might grow some gray hairs after spraying. And I clearly do not have a lack of grays. This is, this is complex. This is classy, bro. My balls smell, my balls smell dignified right now. My balls should have a sword on each testicle, giving them the title of a Lord. Shout out to Norton and Wilson for blessing the kid with this shit and for making a very, very nice classic shit that I can pretty much guarantee 
no other content creator on YouTube is gonna make this type of fragrance. Truth be told, because it wouldn't play with their characteristics like it does with the Capitan Smelly. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what it is? Biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tag. When it's time to call back, it's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>